Although the idea of everyone adopting a vegan diet may seem far-fetched, in the UK, the number of people who are vegan has increased by 340% in the previous decade. Most of the carbon footprint comes from food. Cows are a huge part of the reason that there are so many greenhouse gas emissions. Burps play a big role. If everyone went vegan, the world's food-related emissions would decline by 70% by 2050, according to a new analysis on food and climate published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Being a vegan doesn't mean you're eating healthily. Vegan diets can be low in calcium, vitamin D, iron, vitamin B12, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University say that the average vegetarian diet is the most environmentally sound option. A vegetarian diet is more environmentally friendly than not. The Western diet has a lot of meat, fish, and dairy products, which causes a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Animal agriculture really produces a lot of toxic gases that contribute to climate change. Unfortunately for omnivores, livestock is responsible for 65% of all human-induced nitrous oxide emissions. According to the Vegan Calculator, a year of vegans can save 3,300 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions. Despite all the animal cages, we use most of the land for food. Veganism is a movement to stop animal cruelty. It wouldn't be enough just to open the farm gates to the current population of 3.5 billion grazing animals and 19 billion chickens. Cows account for a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions, and their burps are responsible for the largest amount. Methane is such a powerful greenhouse gas that switching to a plant-based diet would reduce food-related emissions by about 28%, the equivalent of India being carbon neutral. Livestock occupy most of the land. Planting a sixth of this area with crops would provide enough food for the animals. This could leave 26 million square kilometers of land available for meadow or forest planting, which would improve biodiversity. Consider hamburgers. It takes a lot of space and land to make four burgers in the United States. A recent study suggests that a nation of 320 million vegans would reduce agricultural greenhouse gas emissions by 28%, which is significantly less than the amount produced by the cattle industry. The study also suggests that while animals currently account for about 49% of agricultural emissions in the United States, a vegan nation would emit significantly less. The team announced in a recent journal article that annual emissions would be reduced from 623 million tons to 446 million tons. The authors think that the shift could lead to vitamin shortages, including calcium and a number of other vitamins. Based on the nutritional content of current crop production, this study found that a plant-only system could not meet the requirements of the U.S. population for calcium, vitamins A and B12, and some important fatty acids.